Hello everyone, it's Dark Girl T. I'm back after a couple of months of inactivity. I think it was actually more than a couple of months. It's been because of coronavirus. Everyone's fine. Uh, I'm fine. My family and friends are fine. It's just that it's created a couple of situations where it was very difficult for me to actually sit down and record something properly. So now that that's over, even though coronavirus is not so, keep you wearing your mask and following health guidelines wherever you are. Um, I'm back here. I'm not gone like I was like three or four years ago. I'm sorry about the sound outside. There's people doing stuff, doing their jobs I guess. I'm here to stay. I've been actually doing some housekeeping. You will see that this video has an intro, which is uh, what I've been spending my time doing. You know, I've, been, I've done a lot of things this time. But yeah, I've done some housekeeping in general. I've got a banner from my channel and I've uh, reorganized it a bit. So yeah, I'm committed to this. I'm here to stay for better or worse and I'm back with Pocket Mirror. I will. I also have other couple of videos lined up. Uh, one of them is about gaming, but it's not an RPG game video. It will come out after I'm done with Pocket Mirror. And the other one will come out as soon as I can actually sit down and record it properly too. It'll be about study tips uh, for uni. Because, well, uni started again and I thought I would put out there the way I study if it can help someone, which I hope it can. Anyway, back to the gaming question, we're in Pocket Mirror episode 6. Uh, last time I left it up, off, I was... we were... <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox, we were reassembling them. Let's keep going, there, there was a room with mirrors, if I'm not mistaken. Should be this one. Yes, and we went through the purple and the red one. Just the only ones left is the blue one. So let's go through and see what atrocities await us this time because there's always like a very gory thing going on whenever we cross a mirror. And we're out. Let's see, pumpkin. Come closer, little girl. Come closer. I have a big secret to tell you. This is how kidnapping starts. What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I am actually a kidnapper. Yes! A pumpkin! This is my fake smile. Yeah, I, I feel the same. Oh, uh, little girl, I feel the same. We don't know her name yet. Don't pay attention to that guy over there. He thinks he's a comedian. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've heard that in real life so many times? It's like, yeah, don't, don't pay attention to Jack. He thinks himself a comedian. We just ignore him. Just do that. What is going on here? Hey, you! A detective! Oh, why so much noise? Oh, well, that was fast. And what am I, the young girl like yourself, be doing here? I feel tempted to say detective like um, Lucifer does. Can you see there's a very important investigation going on right now? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just stumbling upon the scene of a crime like I always do. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Tell me now, do you happen to know how to read? No. Yes, I do, apparently. Great. And you could think, could you please read this riddle for me? How are you a detective when you can't read? I killed not one, but eight in pairs of two. Clap your hands and you'll see, and you'll be able to see through. The detective is pretty ignorant. He will never see the answer. Kisses and hugs from the ultimate best dancer. Oh no, it's the psychopaths. What was that? Who wrote this riddle? Did you read it wrong, you foul mouth girl? How many times have I already been called that? No, I read exactly what was written here. Don't shoot the messenger. You know what? I have better things to do than playing detective. But you're a detective. Oh, he looks like Timo from like Spiritual Blossoms, Spirit Blossoms thingy. Guards, execute them both. I want to go home. Did we? Did we go to the USA? Because I feel like we went. Through the USA. <laughs> She's just like oh, f that just happened. Oh, I think I'm like good job, guards. Our work here is done. We saved the city. As for you, my girl, you can have this. Oh, yay! Wonderful. I've always wanted a bloody bag. Uh, that was one job well done. Am I right? Yeah, we got transported to the USA. Um. What do I do with a blood bag? Oh, I guess it has body parts. Yeah, acquired two severed arms and a severed leg. Wonderful. That's exactly what I want for my birthday. Yes, why not? Um, torn parts of couple's body 
lays on the floor, lays surrounded on the floor. <laughs> lay on the floor surrounded by crimson blood and stuff. And I, I was serious, I do not know how to read. Do not stop our investigation. Yeah, CSI, pocket mirror, I can see that. I must confess. Confess to what? It wasn't me. I confess. Just please let me write to my mom before you take me in. I want to say that's not how justice works, but I feel like I can't. Not right now. Who do you think it was who done it? I'm sure it was Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. They wouldn't do something like this. Oh, I suddenly remembered uh, Knives Out for some reason. Very good movie. I really enjoyed it. I was sleeping when it all happened. Too bad. Oh, I missed the massacre of the day. I'll just wait for till the next one. Maybe now I can audition to become the Queen's next favorite person. I don't want to be mean, but you're pumpkin. I don't see that happening. Not really. Violins, harp. I want my charms. And remember, there were charms. I want those. I don't know what to do with them. I just want them. If you give me something to collect, I will collect it. I really don't like that detective. Isn't he kind of dumb? Are we sure it's not the pumpkin who wrote the, the riddle? Are we sure we, we executed the right people? Because I think we didn't. I mean, I'm sure we did. He didn't deserve to be executed like that. Um, let's see. There's not a lot else I can do here. Yeah, I can already go back. That means I have all that I needed. It's getting kind of cold here. I mean, I've been for a couple of months in Spain in scorching heat, except for like the last week where it was all storm after storm. I love storms. That was nice. But now it's cold. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, let's leave body parts. You're oh, he had a British accent. Um, as I said before, I've been in Spain for a couple of months, so I haven't really been speaking in English, so this is going to be even worse than usual. You're going through a lot of trouble for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit, I will definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. Are we are we sure they're worth saving? Because they, they look like psychopaths to me. Like murderous psychopaths, you know. The kind of psychopaths you really do not want to be reassembling. I've gathered enough parts for you and Mrs. Fox. Hopefully we can fix you with this. You've gone through so much trouble for the both of us. I can't thank you enough. You've said that already. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? I've actually taken up sewing as a hobby too. I'm horrible at it. Yes, I do. Would you please sew us back together? I wish to be reunited with Mrs. Fox. Of course, let me just find something to sew you with. Oh, you mean like... Come on, don't ruin this. Needle and thread? I'm actually not bad at sewing itself with the sewing machine, I'm just bad at all the maths involved, which is uh, depressing. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. Don't worry, my study tips video won't include maths, I think. There, all done. Can you move? I'll take that as a guess. Why, yes, indeed I can't. That's a relief, I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. He seems... Nice, decent, okay. Let's sew Mrs. Fox. He's. You know. He seems excited. So, Mrs. Fox. I wonder if she will wake up now. Mr. Rabbit? I'm not gonna do an accent for her, I just don't know. Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're alright. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome and buddy chicken dance again. Here, you can have this. I've cut it since, since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Where? Acquired a special key. That is the key to the theatre. I'm sure it will come in handy. Yay, we can advance. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes! Okay. I'm so happy I was able to help them. That turned out better than I expected. Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Um... Yeah. It seems like it went fine. That's good. That's good. They're not killing anyone. That's good. They just wanted to dance. Uh, let's save here. Just in case. Just in case. Let's see. 
Yes, they're, they're still dancing. It, it should be okay. Yay! See? Happy ending. It's closed shut. Yeah, we have a special key though. Let's see. Special key. It opened. It opened. Let's go. Oh. That looks like a creepy theater and I'm getting strife and flashbacks. Oh, cool candles. Where am I heading to? Is it my demise? Nope, just the stage. Same thing. Quick, take a seat. The show's about to start. Ooh, putting on a show for us. I don't know if I should be worried. Quick, quick, take a seat. Yeah, I'm gonna put candles on you or anything. I'm gonna... Oh, stairs. Just take a look at everything first. The books on the shelves are glued onto the bookshelf. That's useless. All of these books are about plays. Well, you are in the theater. The Gruppierung der Physischen Krankheiten by Karl Ludwig Kalval. I'm not even gonna try. I only know how to like order food in German, and I'm sure that's not food. So, no. It's the index of books. A witch's guide to medical medicinal herbs. That's good. Sounds useful. There's so many coloring books. Some people find it relaxing. I'm... I don't. Afternoon tea. Rhymes for children. Okay. Good enough. Nothing, nothing too messed up. I can't understand what's written here. The handwriting is too messy. Some people do have very messy handwritings. It's filled with children's book. Well, it's all very childlike here, isn't it? It's to be expected. Why no charms? I want charms. And I also want to read whatever is in here. I can't. Oh, stairs. Ferrat. Ferrat. By Elise Ladle. I have no idea what that means. The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. I don't know if that's a real book, but it does sound interesting. There are dark stains splattered on this. It's blood. There are shel the sh these shelves are filled with fairy tale books. Those are nice. I've never seen this language before. Is it German? It's a page ripped from a book. All the lines are crossed. You crossed the line. Kunik, Autokars, Glück und Ende, Fans, Grill, Parzer. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that in German. 1823. Uh, King, whatever his name was, Luck and End, Unlock None, I have no idea. Sit. Let's sit down for a place. It's gonna be high school history. Oh. Hello. That's cute. Oh, who are you? Welcome to the most incredible of shows, the most amazing, amazing and impressive prose. Ooh. I like the music. Of a little girl whose days are counted, with none of her wishes ever being granted. <laughs> it's that kind of story, isn't it? Aren't I an impressive poet? <laughs> God, who are you? Don't trouble yourself with pretty questions, miss. But do enjoy your stay and please <laughs> keep your memories close to your heart. Wait, that's what they told us at the beginning of the game. Wait. Two. One. Lunch. This music is not that nice. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking a nap outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. Okay. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Alright. Equally yet, her best of friends never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and her stuffed doll. What better combination could there be? Together, they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just the silly little kids. I don't know. Silly little monsters they were. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the finest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties and brains the size of a pea. Eclair was indeed Flutter's best friend and her most important companion. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Flutter from leaving the house. What a shame. That 
happened so fast. Inside Flitta's house was a secret place, so secret no one could ever visit. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Flitta decided to wander in anyway. It's not as if a little ring could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could there be written in this most amazing secret letter, Flitta wondered, but what's this? The letter is filled with lies. Just who could have done this? What were those lies doing inside the room? How could have they gotten there? Why, why so, so suddenly? What's with the music? That's right! There was no way Flita could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Flita was nothing but a pure little girl. Oh, what an angel. There was no way it could have been Flita's fault. Simply because there was a very clear culprit. It was all the mean girl's fault. It's not, it's not the girlfriend's fault. The name of the very evil culprit is. Wait, what? Oh my, things may have gotten interesting. What the f was that? What kind of play is that? That was not High School Musical, that's not how I remember it. What? Why was it so fast at some point, too? Okay, so Eglier is a stuffed doll, so she was the stuffed doll we had dinner with. And I um, think it might be the girl from the first painting, the one who lost her eyes, that might be the girl, Flita. And they wander in their mother's room, because it said Muta on the door. And there was something they should... they did something or they read something they shouldn't have read. And it may have been Flita's fault, and Flita was like, no, it's that girl's fault. You just told us a very story. Right? That was quite a show, wasn't it? I mean, it was, but I wouldn't necessarily describe it that way. Uh, I'm sorry if you didn't really understand me while I was reading that. I didn't understand it myself. It was going very fast. I wanted to read everything out loud. I can't, apparently. I need to work on my reading skills. Um, there's nothing new, apparently, over here. Um, can I sit again? I guess not. Who was that girl and why were there so many screams at the end? That, that was weird. So we have a new name that's Flita. That's the blonde girl. I think that's the blonde. Is that was the girl from the first episode blonde? I can't remember. The one who lost her eye. I don't I don't I don't remember. The mean one was a brunette, that I remember. But the other one, yeah, she may have been blonde. Oh, maybe it's the mean one again who wants to take her eye off? That's the girl, no, the different. I'm confused. There's nothing else to do here. So let's go. No! No! Mr. Rabbit, what happened? I had I, I had faith in you. Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this yourselves, do you? No, it was the pumpkins. Why, yes, we have. Austin have worked on quite beautifully. Oh, where are those the screams? But why? I thought all you wanted to do was dance again. Honestly, we're both very stupid. They obviously wanted to kill them. Because, like, that's what all of the, all that they've been doing. Oh, sweetie, you have yet much to learn. And apparently, hatred's still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? Yes, how could you? You're well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? That still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify it? Uh, you shouldn't argue with them. Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now move along. We're very grateful for your good deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> My god, they're made for each other. This can't be. I don't want to approach them yet. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, like a good plan. Um, can I, can I run? Yes, I can run again. Uh, um, is there, there was a door here. I guess it's not working anymore. Pumpkin, do you have anything to say? Pumpkin does not have anything to say. Did they kill the pumpkins too? <gasps> yeah, there was a pumpkin here and now there's not. They killed the pumpkins. I hate them. I should not build them up. Uh, I should have reassembled them. But if I didn't reassemb reassemble them, I probably wouldn't have been able to get the key to the theater. 
I guess that was important. Oh, oh wait, what? It's locked. Are those cats? Is that a cat pumpkin? A pumpkin cat? A pumpkin with cat ears? It is a pumpkin with cat ears. I'm gonna say first. Oh my god, the meowing. I love it. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna save here. Oh my god! The queen is waiting you! They're butlers! How do you even get cats to be a butler? Oh, acquire pumpkin charm! Yes, we're back with pumpkin charms! Oh yeah, the pumpkin! Pumpkin! Oh no, I'm allergic to cats! Did the pumpkin just sneeze? Did the pumpkin just sneeze pumpkin charm? It did! I love this! has got cat ears. Floral meow. 1644. A group of cats surrounded by plum flowers. That sounds ideal. Oh. Feline glory. 1846. Sir Napoleon, the conqueror of Persia. That's so cute. Such a silly painting. Have some respect. That is Sir Napoleon you're talking about. Conqueror. Cat satisfaction. 1713. A sleepy looking cat resting under a broad blue sky. I can't get no cat is fashion. I had to do that, sorry. Cat eye 1697. The painting of a black of a black cat's amber eye. Ooh, got chills on my spine. What might be troubling you, little girl? I don't know, mister. Oh wait, I wanted to cut the video shirt. I will! <laughs> Uh, this is a good place to leave it. I guess I'll redo the conversation once I start the next one. Thank you for watching. If you watch all the way to here, and even if you haven't, if you skipped to the end for some reason, thank you nonetheless for opening the video and taking your time to take a look at it. I'll be back with more videos, uh, more pocket mirror, and as I said before, a study guide tips thing I'm gonna do to help everyone who's coming back to uni or starting uni in these uh, weird times. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.